We do indeed. This is such a nice surprise at this time of the day. There's two side striped jackals. Now that's the one that's trotting off. The other one has disappeared already into the long grass. Oh, are you going to go to the toilet? Is that what you think of this afternoon? <laughs> When making a hasty retreat, this is not what to do. It's not time to go to the toilet when trying to run away from what you're a bit nervous of. But anyway, when nature calls, you've got to go. Oh, did you finish going to the toilet? No, you didn't. You silly thing. <laughs> Oopsie. It's still hanging on by a thread there, unfortunately. But there goes our side striped jackal. And like I said, yes, finish going to the toilet before you... <laughs> I don't know what even to say about that. <laughs> this poor jackal is, I don't know why, for some reason decided that while fleeing it's time to lighten the load and is caught between being scared of us and having to go to the toilet. <laughs> and you can see it's trying its level best to quickly get rid of it before it goes. No, nope, still not out properly. Rather finish up before you run away, young one. I suppose they're not young, but... The other one also ran off to the left-hand side like that, and Senzo managed to spot them. I don't know how. They were lying up in some shade, and they just perked up their heads, and so Senzo pulled off a great spot to see them. And this is super exciting. I know that there's a couple of you that really love to see the jackals, and we don't get to see them that often, so this is quite a special sighting. In <laughs> So it's quite a special sighting for a number of reasons. It's not only special that we have seem to have a special jackal that can't seem to get rid of its dung quick enough to get out of here. There we go. Now it's moving off. Now, Riti, you say your first time on a live drive. Well, I'm glad you've finally seen your jackals. And I'm sorry it's been a bit of an awkward sighting but nice to see now that it stopped trying to go to the toilet you can see that's that typical jackal swagger that they've got and it's going to try and find some shade somewhere where it can lie down the other jackal was seen somewhere in that direction it was the last time i saw it running away and you can see how they're quite small and they move around and every now and then big ears will perk up there comes the other one just to the right of that one senzo you'll see it's coming out shortly hopefully it was moving towards the one on the left so i'm sure it's going to pop out as well wouldn't it be nice to see both of them on screen So Sam, you're wondering if they do like the sun. Sam, not really. It's, it's hot now. And you must remember Jackal's peak time of activity is much like lion and leopard. They tend to spend most of their time in moving around just after dusk and just before dawn. And so now it's hot. They've got a fur coat. It's really not that comfortable to be lying out in the sun. If you've had dogs, Sam, you'll know that they try and seek some sort of shade. And it's not really that fun to lie in the hot sun all day. So they'll try and sit there. And then as it cools down, then they'll go out and start foraging. Now, interestingly enough, we get two species of jackal here. We get the black-back jackal and the side-striped jackal. Now, the black-back jackal, we tend to see scavengers a lot more. There you can see the face of the one on the right. It's just poking through the bush. There, there we go. It's found itself some shade to lie down. Now, the black-back jackals tend to scavenge a lot more than what these guys do. These guys are prolific hunters, and you'll find them out in open areas like this where there's going to be a number of small rodents moving around, insects that they can then go after, and they'll hunt quite effectively during those periods. Then what you'll find is if there is a carcass around here that they can potentially scavenge on, these guys will do so. And we've noticed over the last few years is that the jackal population here in the Sabi Sands unfortunately has taken a massive decline and it's probably due to um, dogs and livestock and things on the outskirts of the reserve that bring in distemper and rabies that has caused a massive crash in the jackal population but also what we've noticed is there's been an increase in the number of side striped jackals as opposed to black back jackals the side strap is slightly larger and it seems as though they are pushing black back jackals out of certain areas and taking over for themselves so really special to see these guys i'm going to try and see if i can't just manage to reposition a little bit better now that they're laying down maybe they've got a bit more relaxed with us and I'll be able to actually get us a slightly better view but it will be something that will be great to work on if we know that the jackals are here it means that they are spending a lot of time in this area and they are territorial animals and so we'll have to just try and spend lots more time here try and get them habituated to us and hopefully this will be a sign of a lot more jackal sightings to come with this particular section so while I try and see if I can't get a better view for all of you let's go back to Tara and see how her journey towards twin dams is going